may be easy to pinpoint the most affluent and visited metropolises in the world. However, it's far more difficult to identify the most luxurious neighborhoods and suburbs. But with the help of the United States Census Bureau and the real estate site Trulia, the travel has eventually come up with quite a unique selection of such posh neighborhoods. This list largely consists of well-to-do cities with the most expensive communities, starting from the posh mansions of Short Hills, New Jersey, to the opulent estates of Los Altos, California. Indeed, you may think you know what luxury looks like, but today, you'll realize that it has got at least a dozen other nuances. To determine the top 10 neighborhoods and suburbs that deserve to be featured on today's list, we've also put our trust in Engel & Volkers, a real estate firm that zooms in on such exclusive areas. Some of them look so lavish and expensive that it's probably just a matter of time before other celebs claim a property there as well. Now, go ahead and take a closer look at these pricey areas that actually smell like money. Today, I'm going to show you the most expensive neighborhoods in the world. Before the start of the video, make sure to leave a like, and if you want to see more content, subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. Number 10. Bronxville, New York A few miles north of New York rests one of the most beguiling regions in Westchester County. The close-knit spread measures about a square mile. However, it doesn't stop celebs from daydreaming about it. This lavish part of the Big Apple features a distinct style that resembles a typical English village full of all sorts of neat shops, cafes, and restaurants Forbes.com shares. Additionally, Bronxville is home to two collegiate institutions, one of which is Sarah Lawrence College. In fact, Frank Gabagnale, the man who inspired the creation of Catch Me If You Can, also lived there. Number 9. Stoke d'Abernon, UK with an average house price of £870,383, which is a little over $1 million, Stoke d'Abernon in Surrey, UK, presents the magic formula that includes a lovely atmosphere, convenient location, and a whole myriad of outdoor activities as well. The region is also nicely packed with sports clubs for cricket, archery, and tennis fans. According to telegraph.co.uk, Stoke d'Abernon once featured old houses that dated back to the 60s. However, they were eventually replaced by 6,000 square foot to 10,000 square foot mansions. And needless to say, each is quite lavish and expensive for the average family in the country. Number 8. Waldingham, UK Perched atop North Downs, Waldingham is yet another beauty inside the M21 and is about 20 to 30 minutes from Victoria. Interestingly, the late Lord Cragmile once lived here, and upon his final hours, he donated the recreational ground known as the Glebe. The area is now known for its symbolic church and over 700 glorious leafy acres, telegraph.co.uk reveals. All in all, Waldingham is set in a wonderful area of unparalleled beauty and regularly beckons to the wealthiest Englishman. The average price of homes here goes around £767,630, while over 17% of the buyers have purchased a house that's over £1 million. Number 7. Hadley Wood With its fantastic Georgian clubhouse set on the hillside, Hadley Wood is a perfect place for devoted golfers. Here, the wealthiest of them can unwind with a relaxing golf game that will surely set the tone right. The area, filled with fine floodlit courts, football, and bridge clubs, was also rightfully dubbed the, quote, smugly luxurious residential satellite in Hertfordshire, Barnett, UK. According to telegraph.co.uk, the average price of houses here goes over £765,311, or $967,327. Most of the houses along the edge of the green belt feature a wonderful interior and exterior design, inspired by the last century styles. Number 6. Loudwater Set in wonderful green lungs right inside the M25, Loudwater provides easy access to the motorway network as well as a fast escape from Heathrow. The River Chess, telegraph.co.uk details, meanders right through the countryside, so Rickmansworth is no more than a mile away from the Metropolitan Line. 
Here, you can expect to see five-star hotels, such as the fantastic Grove Hotel and Golf Course, covering over 300 acres. It also happens to be the ideal spot to breathe in some fresh air. But to enjoy all of this luxury, most of Loudwater's residents had to fork over 715,335 pounds or $904,228 to get the home of their dreams. Number 5. Radlett, UK Unlike the previous example, Radlett presents considerably cheaper homes for sale. But still, the price tag doesn't become less of a burden for most families with an average annual salary. In fact, you can purchase a lavish property for over $500,000, telegraph.co.uk shares. When it comes to Radlett's outdoor opportunities, it's actually known for its sports activities, from playing tennis and squash to practicing cricket. Often referred to as the caricature of suburban preoccupations, Radlett rests happily among hedgerows and green hills. Another curious fact about Radlett society is that it zealously protects the green belt. Number 4. Pratt's Bottom Stranded inside the M25, Pratt's Bottom is to be found in Greenbelt, right on the slope of the North Downs. Quiz nights and carol concerts are the typical outdoor activities in the area, but all in all, Pratt's Bottom is quiet and peaceful. The area is also great for families with kids since it boasts top-rated schools, telegraph.co.uk shares. Additionally, Pratt's Bottom is home to two awesome parks, Farnborough Park and Keston Park. In fact, most of the houses there date as far back as the early 90s. However, most of them were either knocked down or fully redesigned, explains David Hughes of Allen DeMade. Number 3. Highwood Hill In Highwood Hill, the average house price starts at £677,339 while sales over 1 million pounds have been made by only 16.8% of buyers. Exotic wildlife abounds in the area and is therefore fiercely protected by its wealthy residents, telegraph.co.uk says. All in all, Highwood Hill is widely known for its beautiful ponds, farms, and nature reserves, so it's only natural that it's full of lavish properties for sale. But while many famous folks, football players, and pop stars opt for detached villas, we've learned that Arsene Wagner, Arsenal's manager, has recently bought a five-bedroom house packed with all luxury amenities. Number 2. St. George's Hill on Virons In a place like St. George's Hill on Virons, houses go out of date faster than cars do, says Simon Ashwell of Seville's. Quote, we sold the most expensive house this year at 10.5 million pounds. The drive to secure land means the price of an acre has risen from 2.5 million pounds to 3.5 million pounds in the last 12 months. In the past, though, houses weren't nearly as lavish and unique as they are these days. The unattractive old houses get replaced with much bigger and better ones with unique architectural designs, telegraph.co.uk shares. Eventually, such luxury homes sell like hotcakes, even when priced at over half a million dollars. Number 1. Escher, UK Escher's appeal seems to be really solid since house sales aren't really affected by the recession. A few years back, Escher became the top place visited by Chelsea football players, telegraph.co.uk says. Among the wealthy residents here are Frank Lampard, Didier Drogba, and John Terry. When it comes to the property, though, people focus on areas of security and certainty. And thankfully, Escher can absolutely bring that on the table. Quote, These are places which are family-driven, and people need schools and extra bedrooms for their kids, says Richard Winter of Seville's. Most luxury houses in Escher are nicely packed with all kinds of deluxe amenities. No wonder why the price is pumped up like that. Thanks for sticking around till the end. If you feel like you received some real value and insights from this content, please take a moment to hit the like and subscribe buttons so as not to miss any of our new video releases.